When Frankie Ray Tuppany Hockney was just three months old, she was diagnosed with an exceptionally rare disorder, one of just 21 people with microdeletion syndrome caused by the absence of part of a chromosome. Frankie Ray's family were told she might never walk. However, however, now two years old, little Frankie Ray, who you can hear now from Kidlington, is beating the odds and has been raising money for charity by taking part in a walking challenge. Frankie Ray and mum Mary Ella, dad Ben and sister Georgie Ellen are with me now. So many names, just to make life <laughs> complicated. If I, can, if I can come to you first, mum. Yeah. What is microdeletion syndrome? So she's basically missing part of a chromosome. Um, her, the chromosome that she's missing part of is chromosome 17. Okay. Um, and she's missing a quarter of that chromosome. Right. Yeah. So it's something infinitesimal in the cell yeah. is making the difference. And, and what, what is the ef effect of missing a quarter of, so of one chromosome? With Frankie Ray, it means that she has global development delay. Um, she also has hypermobility. They're not sure whether she'll be able to walk properly unaided on her own. Um, what, do you, what do you mean there by hypermobility? Um, so all of her joints um, sort of bend underneath and things when she stands. So if you can see, she's got her braces on. Right. And uh, her boots. So a bit, her joints are a bit looser, perhaps, yeah. than... Yeah. Than so if she like... stands, her ankles may go underneath her, her legs, sort of go banana-shaped sometimes. She's got a little walking frame at home, which she started to take some she steps looks, with. I don't know, but I tell you what, she looks very with it and together here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fascinated. Fascinated. Quite so. Oh, you're pointing. What, 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 if, what if anything <laughs> caught yours or anyone else's attention? How did you know that um, there was something? It was just there? because it flagged up that her head was on the smaller size. Um, and right. so they did blood tests and looked into it that way. And then at three months old, we found out that she had the microdeletion syndrome um, at the time, obviously, because they don't have a lot to, to say about it. Um, we were kind of just told there was a number to it, given a leaflet from um, a place called Unique. So they okay. are a database that hold all the information for different chromosomes um, and deletions. And Ben, 21, is that 21 people in Britain or is that no, 21 worldwide. people worldwide? Worldwide. Yeah. That's, that's an extraordinary it's incredible. statistic. Yeah. We've actually managed to find uh, a few of them online. Well, Ella has. Because you would um, want to share yeah. Yeah. wisdom and experience. Yeah, because there's no doctors or anything that know too much about this syndrome, um, Ella's managed to source uh, uh, similar people in the same um, as us uh, online, on Facebook, of all yeah. places. So it um, took quite a while to yeah. find them. Um, and then I come across a group one day and yeah there are a, f a few more in England there's one in Scotland that we know of uh, there are quite a few in America Australia. in Australia there's another little girl in Australia who's very similar to Frankie Ray almost identical or even to facial, features. facial features as well mm. same mm. sort of age incredible um, she's not quite as far forward as Frankie Ray so even though it varies um, yeah it all varies even though they've got this syndrome the same syndrome and they all have global development delay um, we also discovered there's also a um, not a deletion there's also a multiple duplication, duplication as well yeah. yeah but she has the deletion so yeah it just it depends some children or adults are far worse than Frankie Ray but there are some that are doing more than Frankie Ray it <laughs> what does are vary. you doing <laughs> Georgie Ellen is, is, is Frankie Ray a fun sister? Is she a fun sister to be around? Yeah. They have lots of fun. She's a very good big sister to her little sister. I bet you me? are. Yeah. So, yeah. So, t so tell me, you've been raising money. Tell me about, first of all, the charity yeah. and what it, why you got involved and, and yeah. what you're so trying to organise there. The charity um, basically have helped us, well, enabled us to get equipment for Frankie Ray that we needed. We needed a specialist push chair slash wheelchair. So I like to say it's a pushchair. Um, and it was rather expensive. So along with the NHS, help from them as well. But the charity have funded the majority of what we needed for that. So we're now just trying to raise as much money as we can. To what is the charity? The, uh, it's the Carter Trust. Carter Trust. Yeah, um, they help many disabled children and adults to get equipment. Um, and it has to go through an application process. Not anyone can just go on there and 
think they can get something, but... And against what you were told, or the, or the cloud that was, that was hanging over you, about not being able to walk, I think Frankie Ray's been... She shocked us all, I think. Walking. Yeah, this Absolutely. last uh, about three weeks, she's just started to take a couple of little steps here and there. Fantastic. Um, she doesn't like to walk with the boots and the splints on so much. They mm. almost hinder her, but at the same mm. time, if she doesn't have them on, hey. then um, that's when her ankles give way. That's well, with look. her walking frame. <laughs> look, girls, oh, yeah. there's some pictures of you. <laughs> and for, uh, for people that are listening on radio, we're just looking at pictures of two of the loveliest wee girls <laughs> just being sisters it together. so much joy to and be able to achieve that. It's wonderful. And just being like sisters everywhere. That's she was lovely so happy. to watch. And it's given her some freedom as well. So um, just even be, being able to stand with the walking frame. We took her up to school the other day and I thought she'd go off across the playground and when she got there she was just so excited to actually be stood <clears> on her own yes. and not penned into something, you know, that she was just over the moon. So it's so <laughs> lovely to see. We've really seen, seen like her come on in leaps and bounds, which is great. She loves to stand. She stands at the furniture. But it, again, it's just that's the hypermobility that's stopping her. Yeah. Oh, what a, what a, that's lovely, she loves to stand. Oh, what, a yeah. sim, what a simple, mm. so readily so taken for granted oh, yeah. Yeah. action, and yet she it loves is. to stand. It really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. To be up with everyone is a great sense of achievement for her. She loves to dance, she loves music. Oh. Absolutely loves music. She loves the Wiggles. <laughs> we watch the Wiggles on I think we all the, have to love the Wiggles. On the TV, on all day, every day. <laughs> so, so often people... Large and small, young and old, exceed the expectations yeah. that, hey. are, that are suggested by the, you know, by the medical professionals. Yeah. You know, I, we, you know, I, I try to, you know, have encounters like this every week, and so often it's people who were told the, the darkest <laughs> uh, prognosis. Yeah. Of course. And then, no, they, they go off and they climb and mountains and they swim oceans. and Every yeah. day is a blessing for us. And I think Absolutely. when we first got told um, when she was three months old, it seemed like a massive thing to take on, knowing that she may not talk either. Like she babbles now and she can say mum and dad. Mm -hmm. She's starting to make a few sounds. So we're hopeful that she may talk as well. But just the uncertainty of what, you know, of, of what her life could be like, it's quite hard to understand sometimes of and take on board. But of course. She's yeah. really, she's very determined. <laughs> Now, so tell me some of the things that you've done for the charity. What have you, you've, because you've all been involved, haven't you? Yeah, we've done lots yeah. of different things. So, um, George Ellen's been making loom band bracelets and selling those. I know about things. loom band bracelets. <laughs> My daughter made me loom band bracelets. Yeah, she's uh, managed to make £161 selling those so far towards the charity, haven't you? That's superb. Which is yeah. really, really great. Um, yep. mm -hmm. yeah. It was her idea initially to try and make some money to put back to the charity. So, we started with the loom bands, and then we've done several things since. We've done um, different events. With raffles. Um, and had raffles at them. And I must admit, the community have got behind it. And, oh, definitely. And fantastic donations from, from our village and, yeah. and our friends and family. family yeah. uh, so are, there, are there ways in which I'm sure people watching and listening will will be motivated to get involved and, oh, and offer up some yeah, cash. How, how, how could they go about doing that? How so we have a crowdfunder it? page and it's, um, it's okay. under uh, <laughs> Frankie Ray's hey, hey, hey. First Steps to Success. There we go. So, yeah, um, Frankie, Frankie Ray's, Ray's First, first steps, steps to Success. success. Um, she, we, you can find her on Facebook as well. We've set up a page for her, which is um, Ultra Rare Ray Ray, because we call her Ray Ray at home. OK. Quite a lot. <laughs> so, and... Everywhere on there, we've been posting the crowdfunder and we've been posting videos daily of her either walking without the frame, taking a couple of steps, or walking with the frame just to show that, ev that she's practicing every day. So it's a win win for her. Yes. She's getting some practice in, but we're also raising money. So she's raised over £400 herself so far through the crowdfunder page. I think in total, we've managed to raise over £800 so far. But doing so much more than that, just yeah. through the act of being and doing. It means yeah, so much more. You know, every every week, as you know, as, as I say, I try to remind people um, that there are that there are uh, good stories mm. and, and you know and people rising above challenges, and that's what we call the, the Great Britons. You're absolutely that, and I have to say, oh, the four of you, you and that that wee one there looks like a blessing to me. She definitely is. I would say just <laughs> and you, Georgie Ellen. <laughs> just lovely. So thank you both for coming in and being thank you and thank you all thank for you. coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just, it really you, means a you lot. You brought a little beam of sunshine into <laughs> the studio. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.